tells me I've been dreaming of someone who was never real. It seems I've changed a thousand ways. I wish I looked the way I feel. Break things. My life gets complicated. Boyfriend. Don't want to talk about it. Teenage. I'll work it out in the end. Another example of her pathetic, unrelenting need for attention. Hope she does the splits again. Hey! Ouch! Look out! <gasps> I hate it when she does that. I just heard the best news. What? More than anything in the world, what concert are you dying to see? No. Yes! Not Vice Grip! Next month, our city, our concert! I hate it when they do that. Oh my god! Oh my god! So oh my god. Cool. Do you believe it? This is amazing! Tickets go on sale Saturday. We have to be the first in line! We'll get front row seats! It'll be the greatest. Imagine, you and me and the four hottest guys in the universe. Unreal. We're sitting so close, I can see the sweat pouring off lead singer Jason Devine. Wait, I know. After the show, they're like, why don't you come and meet us backstage? We all hop in their car and cruise to a totally cool club. <sighs> you know we're gonna be there. There was no doubt about it. That day felt like the official beginning of everything. All the good parts about being a teenager were finally starting to happen. What did you just say, Sharon? I said, it's gonna be the best concert ever. So I totally, totally have to go. Hey, Mom, can you drive me to wrestling practice? Do you mind? I'm talking about something important. What could be more important than perfecting my headlock? Oh, no, look at the time. We gotta fly, Josh. You'll be late for your lesson. But I'm not finished. There's just a few details we have to go over. Go and get your music. Ooh. Sharon, honey, this isn't a good time. Adam, if you want to ride, I'm leaving now. Come on, Josh. I'm coming, I'm coming. Jeez, you're giving me indigestion. Does that mean I can go? Oh, we'll talk about it tonight. Oh, and uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd do the dishes. Thanks, bro. Ugh, gross. <sighs> Mom? Finished your homework? Yes. Okay. Better get to bed then. It's getting late. Hey, I haven't had one of those for a while. About the concert. What concert? I told you all about it at dinner. Don't you remember? Sorry, honey. I was distracted. Mom, it's really important. Oh, yes. The band you like. The boys with all the tattoos and body piercings. It's okay if I go, right? Aren't they the ones who jump into the audience? Yeah, but it's just for fun. Anyway, Maria's asking her parents, too. We're gonna bring our sleeping bags and camp out overnight at the ticket booth so we can get front row seats and- Whoa, wait a minute, back up. 
There is no way you're lining up overnight to get tickets. What? It's out of the question. You're too young. Mom, I am not a baby. Of course you're not, but that whole concert culture, you're just not ready for it. Believe me. Are you saying I can't even go to the concert? That's what I'm saying. I take back that kiss. can you get? Too young? Can you believe it? Definitely overprotective. Now I'll never see Jason Devine up close. And what's worse, he'll be making gaga eyes at some other girl sitting in my seat. Extreme bummer. All because of my prison guard mother. Parents, can't live with them, can't pay for the cell phone without them. Face it, my life is over. Really, Sharon, don't frown so much, you'll get more wrinkles. The bubonic plague followed trade routes from the east, arriving in Europe in 1348. It appears the plague was passed on through infected rodent feces, much the same way E. coli bacteria gets into hamburgers. Rat poo? E. coli? Gross. Once afflicted, the only thing a person had to look forward to was a slow, painful death. Mr. Beardsley, um, I don't feel well. High fever and aching limbs was soon followed by oozing, pus-filled boils. Excuse me, Mr. Beardsley? Man, oh, man. Uh... What are you staring at, you little puke? Oh, my God, look at your face. What? What's the matter with my... <gasps> <gasps> ah! Help! It's the plague! I've got the plague! The plague! <laughs> I think I'm going to... Oh. It's the plague! Help, it's the plague! Huh? The plague! It's the plague. Run. 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 Run! Run! It's the plague! Psst! Alden, over here. Nina? Oh, Alden, something terrible is happening. Save yourself while there's still time. <laughs> it's too late for me. Uh, Nina? Figures she'd use this to get in with him. You don't think he buys the plague bit, do you? Of course not. What's with her? Nothing. Smallpox. Thought they had a cure for that. I'm doomed. Doomed. Hey, I have your attention. Please. Boys and girls. Free CDs to anyone who's quiet. <laughs> Just kidding. Aww. Now down to business. It appears a highly contagious rash is spreading through the school. It is in no way life-threatening. There is no killer virus. I repeat, no killer virus. Aww. We've all had a, a nasty scare today. In order to help us deal with this crisis, I've asked someone to speak with us. She's a psychologist who specializes in trauma counseling. Please welcome Dr. Spitz. Excuse me? Good afternoon. Some of you may know me as Sharon's mom. Hi, Sharon. How embarrassing is this? But today I'm here in a professional capacity. My job is to give you all an opportunity to talk about what happened. Does anyone have any special concerns? Oh, 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 Dr. Spitz! Yes? Do you think I can hide these ugly blotches with my regular cover-up? Or should I buy a thicker concealer? Well, now... That's, That's an interesting, interesting question. question. Of all the psychologists in the world, why'd they have to pick her? Actually, your mom seemed pretty clued in. She could have her own talk show, like Oprah. 
Sure, she's the perfect mother to every teenager except me. There you are, Sharon. Oh, hi, Dr. Spitz. You are awesome. Thanks, Maria. Gotta fly. See you later. Call me. I thought we might walk home together, if that's okay. I guess. Dr. Spitz! Dr. Spitz, wait! Quick, duck in here. <sighs> Can I talk to you privately? I suppose so, sure. Do you mind waiting over there? We'll just be a sec. Who did Nina think she was anyway, muscling me out of the way? There she was, whispering to my mom like she was her best friend or something. Was she asking her about more personal hygiene products? Or how to cultivate an even more annoying personality? Thanks, Dr. Spitz. See you Thursday. What was that all about? Oh, Nina's gonna come and see me for private sessions. Somebody please tell me this wasn't happening. My arch enemy was seeking out my mother to solve her dumb problems, and at the same time, that very same mother was ruining my life. What was wrong with this picture? Nice moves. Ever heard of knocking? Personally, I find vice grip too juvenile. I mean, pink hair, please. I don't think I heard anyone ask for your opinion. In fact- You're here, Nina. Good, come on in. Hi, Dr. Spitz. Thanks again for fitting me in. I know how busy you are. Oh, my, yes. Well then, right this way. Little Miss Suckup. What's she doing here anyway? I don't know. Probably trying to get advice on how to wrap more grown-ups around her finger. Yeah, or how to get Alden to like her. Alden? You think my mom's giving her tips on how to get Alden? She wouldn't. Would she? They're probably having a heart-to-heart -heart right now. Oh, Sharon, this could be bad. I have to get to the bottom of this. I know they envy me. She's so lucky, they think. Head cheerleader, A student, but hey, I can't help it if I'm better than they are. Truth is, they work at it. They think it's easy being me. Huh? They have no idea of the pressure. Sounds like being popular is important to you. <sighs> it's the burden I must suffer. Before the whole rash escapade, I took my natural good looks for granted. That's when it hit me. What if I wasn't the most popular girl at Mary Pickford Junior High? What if I was just an ordinary girl with splotches on her face? Do you need something, Sharon? I uh, just wanted to tell you I'll make dinner. How thoughtful. There's these people, they drill holes in their skulls. Say it makes them smarter because more oxygen gets to their brain. I saw it on TV. I remember that. Blood was gushing everywhere. It was awesome. I'm trying to eat. Sharon, thank you for making dinner. Mom, about the concert. Oh, honey, don't start. Please, I'm begging you. Tickets go on sale the day after tomorrow. It's my last chance. Sweetie, I thought we discussed this already. I'm not comfortable with you going to this concert. But everybody's going. Everybody is not. Nina Harper isn't. So is that what you're doing in those sessions? Comparing me to her? I'm just saying not everybody is going. If you're so interested in Nina Harper, maybe you should ask her to be your daughter. Sharon! For your information, Nina Harper is nothing more than a super sucky, super phony, I'm a cheerleader, watch me do the splits, girl! You know, she really ought to learn how to deal with her anger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe my mother. She's so, so, so doesn't get it. What's her problem? How could she not realize how important vice grip is to me, huh? And how can she even sit in the same room as Nina? 
I wish that rash was the plague, and then Nina wouldn't be around to torment me. But then I'd probably get it. <laughs> Bet my mom would be sorry then. Come on, Connor. You're being paranoid. Let me in. It's for your own good. The rash isn't contagious anymore. Besides, I've been around lots of people who have it. I tell you what, I'll open the door a crack, but for your own sake, keep your distance. It's about my mom. I'm so mad at her. She doesn't care about anything I care about. Mm. But she has all the time in the world to listen to complete strangers, including Nina Harper. You're talking about her work. Why are their pathetic problems more important than mine? For one good reason, they pay her. But she went through childbirth with me. You have a point. Maybe your problems aren't big enough. What do you mean? Face it. You're a normal kid. The worst thing that's ever happened to you was getting braces. No, that's just the worst thing that's happened to me this year. If having bigger problems was going to get my mom's attention, fine. One thing I knew for sure, I could come up with something a lot better than Nina's all-consuming popularity crisis. Cool outfit. Go away, Josh. This is important. Josh! Let me guess, theater arts project, huh? right? Nice to see you two working together for a change. I'll be in my office if you need me. Ah! Baba me na kong pai ha o ya. Now I get it. You're doing a scene from Hamlet, right? The part where Ophelia's going mad. Very believable, dear. Bravo! Ah! Thought you said your mom wouldn't let you. Let's just say I'm taking matters into my own hands. So, are you coming or what? This is way cool. <laughs> huh? Hey! What's that? Wow, 9.30 already. What are you doing? Well, gotta go, you know, 10 o'clock curfew. What are you talking about? Aren't you staying the night with me? I never said anything about staying the whole night. <laughs> Are you crazy? My father would kill me. I can't believe you. What? You're gonna stick it out? Of course I am. I thought that was the plan. So we can get front row seats when the box office opens in the morning. Yeah, but I guess I never believed we'd really do it. Fine, do what you have to do, but I'm not leaving. Sharon Esther Spitz. I was worried sick. How could you? After I explicitly said no. I don't know. What? I said I don't know why I did it. Maybe we should make an appointment and discuss it, Dr. Spitz. Since when do we need an appointment to talk to each other? Forget it. Does this have something to do with my seeing Nina Harper? Seems to me when people come to your office, you listen to them. But I just get treated like a kid. Because I wouldn't let you go to the concert. I was perfectly fine out there. Nothing would have happened to me. You weren't scared all by yourself? No. Not even a teensy-weensy bit? Well, maybe just a little. And maybe I was being a teensy-weensy bit overprotective. I mean... For the most part, you are pretty responsible. At least you were. I'm sorry, Mom. 
Me too. And I promise we'll start spending more time together. And we did, because for the next two weeks, I was grounded. Nina's rash cleared up, and with it, so did all her problems. Which was good news, actually. She got her peaches and cream complexion back, and I didn't have to put up with her around the house. Do you know what day it is today? The last day of my sentence. That's right, you're no longer grounded. And to celebrate, I got you a little present. Open it! front row seats. And Maria finally ended up getting that rash plague thing and couldn't even come. But I guess I got almost everything I wanted from my mom. Just not exactly the way I imagined.